What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awakened Toast here, and today, welcome to VR Liminal Space. This is literally a VR exploration map within Gmod, where we just kind of walk around, uncover the secrets, and just explore. This is something that I've been meaning to do for quite a while, where I just kind of sit back, relax, and kind of just walk through these maps and just experience it in the first person, and especially the fact that we can literally do this within VR. I think that's the really cool feature of the fact that we can go and explore some of these maps that just have this creepy atmosphere, and it allows us to kind of just go around, adventure, and see what this map has to hold. If you guys do end up enjoying videos like this, and would like to see more content made on Gmod in VR, then be sure to let me know by dropping a comment down in the comment section below. But I think the biggest thing is, is I don't want to hold you guys up for too long off the beginning here and I wonder can we even open this door no okay so this door does not look like it can be opened but there's some other places that we can go and check out and honestly one of the things that I really love is just going around and exploring a lot of things like especially when I was younger like finding like abandoned places whether it be like parking garages older buildings whatever else I always had a lot of fun checking that type of stuff out like there was just something so cool like there was a novelty to the idea of being able to go and check out things like that. Just, you know, not knowing why this place was abandoned or, like, not knowing an answer to some of these things. Like, it's just, I don't know. I always found the idea of that really cool. And now having that opportunity to kind of, like, check these things out, especially in Gmod, with the atmosphere that we already have, because, like, like that. That is creepy as heck. You know... I really do want to check that out, but I think we're going to go and walk through this area first, just in case to make sure there's nothing that we haven't seen yet. Because I haven't really explored the full building, and I would rather kind of check this out first before we go out to the other area. So we're going to kind of just look around and see if there's anything else that we can find, which we actually have to physically crouch in my room just to go and crawl through this thing. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, this is going to take a lot of time to go here because I have a realistic walking mod on too to help out with uh, just the speed of Gmod. Because as you guys know, Gmod, especially with like its default settings, is a little bit rough in terms of how fast you typically run. So uh, we, we definitely threw on this little realistic thing to help out. But holy crap. What a bright room. Talk about a change. You're like, look at that room. And see how freaking dark that was to now walking into, like, this freaking bright, like, hallway. Like, it almost looks like, to me, this literally looks like a lead to, like, a bathroom or something, bro. I have no idea. But I love the idea of liminal spaces because the sole fact of, uh... Oh, wait, are both of these doors locked? I think they might be. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, looks like we gotta go back. But one of the things that I love about liminal spaces is that it really brings... Just this confusing and whatever other vibes to it. And, like, just this lucid state. I don't know if you guys have ever had, like, lucid dreams. But, like, that's one thing that I've always found, like, super, super, like, entertaining. And, like, something that just... I don't know. I thought it was always something super, super cool um, to, like, study. Like, I, the idea of, like, the psychological... Um, thing when it comes down to, like, lucid dreaming. I always found the idea so... I don't know just intriguing you know like why do these things happen why does our brain think this way like just the the psychological state of that is just so cool and like having maps that kind of like dance on the idea of this stuff is just it's really really cool but you know what we're gonna do i am gonna go and close this door because oh whoa wait <laughs> look at the handle Did you guys see that this handle was moving but this one was not that, that's the beautiful thing of Source 1. Oh my god. You gotta love Gmod. Uh, oh my god, dude. Look how freaking creepy this is, man. I almost feel like I should probably stay on the path. But my curiosity is telling me to go and check out the dark stuff. I don't know yet. I You know, as much as I do want to go and check that stuff out, I think I'm going to stick to my roots and, uh, you know, be near the light. <laughs> because there's a path. That allows me to kind of follow this and stay safe and, you know, <laughs> not go into the dark abyss. So I think we're going to wait on the dark part first. I think following this little trail might be our best idea. But also in the same way, 
the one creepy thing when it comes down to a lot of these lights is like you think about the darkness right and having all these lights that have a path you know if there's anything else that is kind of out there they're gonna be able to see us because we're standing in the light you know what i mean like it's just it's really really creepy oh my god and then it leads to this little cellar thing man are you kidding me what's over here did I see another thing kind of over in this location? I kind of want to check this out. I see another light. I see another light. What was that? I thought I seen... Oh, that might have just been a little piece of the map that was kind of showing. But I wonder why this thing's just sitting here alone, though. It's a little weird, isn't it? Don't you find that a little odd? Is there anything that we can do with this? Okay, I don't think so. Oh, yo, look at the lighting! Literally, like, I can see the shadows in this. Like, based on where I'm aiming my flashlight. Oh my god, that's wild. For a game that is literally from, like, 2006, the fact you can do this is just mind-boggling. Like, it, it, it seriously boggles my mind that you can even do this. You know? Like, in Gmod, like, first of all, being able to do this in VR was like, holy crap, that's awesome. And then now being able to do this in VR and, like... I don't know, just have it work so well is like, oh my god. Like, it, it's unbelievable to think how well Gmod, you know, after all these years, works with newer technology. Like, it's just, it's so fascinating to me. Like, it is absolutely fascinating because the whole fact, like, dude, how many games, especially, like, you know, sandbox-oriented and whatever else, that are just from so long ago, get the opportunity to be experienced like this, like, years later, like, it's so cool because, like, I love Gmod for the longest of time. And then the fact that they literally developed a VR mod to re-experience the beloved game is just awesome. It is just so freaking awesome. But, what the heck? Is there anything I can do here? Is this the whole area? There's got to be more stuff to check. There's got to be more stuff to check here. There's no way. I, I fail to believe the fact that this is it. I, I want to I wanna explore around. I feel like there's more stuff to check out. And if not, then, you know, so be it. But I, I like the idea of just checking everywhere. Like, every corner, making sure there's nothing that I'm missing. Because, for some reason, someone's telling me that there might be, like, interactable or something that I have to mess around with. But I'm not too sure. I didn't want to, I didn't want to spoil anything. While I was here like that was the biggest thing is like I really didn't want to go and uh, you know check and see what all the details were in the map because like to me that kind of like spoils the entire idea of it you know like I didn't want to didn't want to spoil it so I wonder if there is anything that we can find in here though unless this is literally the entire map is there some over oh no I thought I might have seen something else there okay never mind I guess I am crazy because there was nothing there. But, oh my god, man. What a weird space. Like, seriously. Can I open this? Is there any way to open these? There's got to be something, right? I, I can't I can't be this crazy. There's got to be something else. There's no way I've explored this entire place. What the frick? Whoa, that scared the crap out of me, dude. Like, what? <laughs> I was gonna kick it. I'm not gonna lie though, like being alone in this map just really brings an eerie vibe, you know? Like, there's just something about being alone and adventuring this stuff that just, I don't know, rubs me the wrong way in a sense. This might be the full map. We might have already explored the entire map here. I'm starting to believe that we might have already checked everything in here. But regardless, like, this is a really cool building, man. Like, just being able to see, like, these structures in a one-by-one -one scale, like, and just be in it, you know, is a whole new way to experience Gmod. Like, I, I gotta say, that's probably the coolest feature of this entire thing is the fact, like, I get to re-experience and also, like, try new experiences, like, of Gmod in VR and be able to, like, walk through these areas and have it be, like, my height. You know, like, it's so weird to, like, be able to play a game that you've known for so long and that you grew up with for so many years and then re-experience it in a light that just puts you in it. Like, the the immersibility is just, it's beyond me. 
It's beyond me. Like even having a flashlight that I can just control my hand that literally reacts with the environment brings Gmod together so much more than it already has been, you know? Like it's just, I've said it before, and it's just a new way to experience the game. And I definitely suggest it if any of you guys do have Gmod and you have a VR headset and you're thinking about downloading it, like don't even think about it. Like literally download it, try it. And you guys will love it. I'm telling you, there's just, there's so much stuff to just experience. And, like, we've been working to get, like, a bunch of different game modes and whatever else working in VR. Like, me and Z-Storm, I want to say a huge shout-out to him as well. Um, we've been doing a lot of work to figure out, like, what mods work and don't work within VR. And we're trying to put together a huge workshop of just items for all of you guys. So you guys can go and experience them yourselves as well. Um, you can try, like, TTT, we got Hide and Seek, we got um, just a s huge assortment of game modes. Like, we literally, I think we have, like, up to 10 now. Unfortunately, we cannot get Prop Hunt to work, but we've got a lot of the other modes, and I definitely do suggest, if you guys want to have some fun with friends, this is the way to do it. Like, Gmod VR, like, I know with a lot of people, they're trying to find other VR games that entertain them. You know, like, right now, we're kind of in a drought of uh, VR content in a way. At least that's what a lot of people are saying. But to me, it's been like an infinite amount of content with, you know, just modding and whatever else. And then not to mention the fact that now Gmod literally allows us to play it in VR. Like th there's infinite content to like win me over for however long. Like this, this is awesome. But you know what, guys? I think we are going to be calling the video here. If you did end up enjoying it and would like to see more content of me just, like, exploring other maps or possibly have any other, like, recommendations, be sure to let me know by dropping a comment down in the comment section below. And also, I do want to say another shout-out to The Librarian. He uh, makes some content of just, like, exploring maps and doing some stuff within Gmod, both in, like, flat screen and also VR. And this is something that really inspired me to kind of make some content like out of my comfort zone and just try something new. So I do want to make a huge shout out to him because that was the inspiration of making this type of video. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching the video. And as always, keep it toasting, my friends. Laters!